All right, guys, it looks like the chickens are finally coming home to roost with the Republican Party. This is wild. Here we have a Gallup poll. I needed to share this with you. Listen to this. Regardless of whether or not you think it should be legal, for each one, please tell me whether you personally believe that it is that in general it is morally acceptable or morally wrong. So this is for gay and lesbian relations. Is it morally acceptable or is it morally wrong? So remember, guys, polls up to this point have showed nothing but a steady increase in people who believe that gay marriage and, um, you know, gay and lesbian relationships, that they're totally fine. You know, gay marriage is at, what, it was 70% or something in this country? Like, it had gone up and 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 up. Why? For obvious reasons. Who the fuck cares? It's none of our business. If people love each other, let them get married. All the standard arguments you've heard a million times, intuitively, they make perfect sense. It strikes me as just common sense to say, yeah, of course, it's fine, right? Look at this. 81% of Democrats, actually, I think that's pretty low, to be honest. For Democrats, 81% say it's morally acceptable to have gay or lesbian relationships or gay marriages, right? 68% of independents. Again, I think that's kind of low, but still, it's even though it's lower than what I thought it should be, it's still kind of high, right? 68% of independents say gay marriage is morally acceptable. For Republicans, look at this. 40% say it's more it's morally acceptable to be gay married. 40%. Guys, this dropped massively. So, let's see. There was one point where we were at 56% of Republicans said, yeah, gay marriage is fine. Gay relationships are fine. In 2022, in 2022, it was 56% of Republicans said gay marriage and gay relationships are, are morally acceptable. They're fine. It has plummeted about 16 points to 40%. The Republican Party is getting worse right in front of our eyes. Yet again, this is another example of the moral arc of history is long, but it bends towards justice. That's just not true. That's just not true. Like, hey, we had Roe versus Wade in this country. We had the right to choose. And then the Supreme Court and Republicans blew it up. And now we're going backwards. And in some states, even if you were raped or, you know, you're, you have health problems because of your fetus, you still can't get an abortion. So we moved backwards. On this one here, we're moving backwards. Now, why is that? Well, as this tweet points out from Polling USA, there's the gays and trans people, our groomers rot, that infected Republicans' brains over the last couple of years. I think this is exactly right. We've been hearing this bogus narrative that, oh my God, public school teachers are teaching your kids to be gay. They're teaching your kids to be trans. Look at like libs of TikTok and all their misinformation, right? You get the Matt Walsh types, the Ben Shapiro types, the Jordan Peterson types, who's he's obsessed with trans people. Um, and they've tried to make the argument, oh, they're they're actively grooming your kids to be gays to be gay and trans. They're grooming them. They're trying to lead them into this lifestyle. And guess what? This lifestyle is abnormal. It's unnatural. It's confusing the kids. And that explains the 16 point drop. In such a short time frame of, yeah, gay marriage is fine, gay relationships are fine, to, no, they're actually not. Now it's 60% that say it's not okay on the Republican side. Look, I have to admit, I was naive. I was naive. I thought the numbers on this would only go in one direction. You know, same thing with, like, legalizing weed. I thought, oh, it's only going to go in one direction. No, it doesn't take much to undo gains that were made. All you need is a very strong propaganda effort and a relentless approach where you don't shut up about it and they make it a cornerstone of their ideology and then boom, here we are. Massive, massive regression. Even to the point where something that seems as intuitively obvious as, yeah, if two people love each other, they should be able to get married, why not? Even something like that, they're taking a wrecking ball to and it's working. And it's working. Now, thankfully, we moved the ball so far down the field that even if we go in the wrong direction, which we are here, we're still uh, we're still going to have the majority, right? The number for Democrats and the numbers number for independents is too high for that to dip below a majority. Because look, I mean, it did go down a little bit, right? Even among Democrats and independents. But 
we were at what, maybe 74% independence at their peak, and now we're at 68. So it did drop a little bit, but we're so far up there that it's not going to dip below a majority. But view this as a cautionary tale, ladies and gentlemen. View this as a cautionary tale. And it's a it's an unsettling and sad thing to point out, but it's true. The fight is never over. It's not like, hey, we really did truly once and for all settle this political discussion and now everybody agrees, right? I mean, in a world that made sense, that would be the case. But that's not the world we live in. So even when it comes to something like, you know, universal health care, we don't have it in this country. But like all of the evidence, all of the data, all of the proof, all of the numbers, all of the historical evidence, all of the other countries, like it all proves that, hey, you know, a single payer universal health care system is the way to go. You know, it costs less. It covers more people. You have better outcomes. We can go through all the arguments. But even if we were to get a Medicare for all single payer health care system, it's not like you'd be able to wake up the next day and go, all right, we win. It's over. No, because you're going to have nefarious forces working to bust that thing up from day one. And you've seen in European countries, the conservatives try to roll back the universal health care systems. They do. In this country, the most popular government programs are Social Security and Medicare. Guess what? You have Republicans trying to uh, take a bulldozer to those as well on a yearly basis. So the fight is never over. There's always going to be nefarious forces of regression trying to drag us back to a worse system for whatever myriad reasons they have, right? But they're going to do that. And it's our job to stand up and fight back against that and say, no, not going to happen. Not on our watch. We're not going to let that happen. And so um, this is just such a great example of how far you can backslide in such a short time period. It really is incredible. And it was a, I think this was a real wake-up call to a lot of people the past two, three years. To have Roe versus Wade get overturned, that was a slap in the face. To see the numbers on gay marriage slide like this among Republicans, that's a slap in the face. To see... The United States' top ally committed genocide and an ethnic cleansing. That's a slap in the face. So, by the way, what this shows is it can always get worse, bro. Don't take any W's for granted. It could always get worse. You got to relentlessly push over and over and over again. Because even things that you think are beyond the pale, like, nobody will disagree on this one. Wrong. There are motherfuckers out there right now defending genocide and ethnic cleansing and starving 2.3 million people and bombing hospitals and schools and UN UN buildings and refugee camps and, uh, you know, all these things. People are out there defending that shit right now. People are going to be out there defending, saying, hey, fuck gay people, fuck trans people. There's nothing that's ever settled. Remember that. Remember that. Because we need that moving forward. You got to be relentless. As relentless as they are, you got to triple that shit. It's a goddamn shame, but it's the world we live in, man. It's the world we live in. So it's time to drive these numbers back up, which uh, sh honestly shouldn't be too difficult because all the people who have made the bullshit arguments about gays and trans people being groomers and they're trying to change your kids and they're all fucking liars anyway. They're all liars. The fact of the matter is the gay and trans percentage of the population it's a lot like, remember the chart that shows left-handed versus right-handed? There was a time when we had, like, no left-handers in the country. Is it because there were actually no left-handers? No. It's because they suppressed that. They they taught kids to be right-handed, and even if somebody was lefty, they said, no, you gotta use your right hand. And then eventually, when people started to become more accepting that some people are lefties, boom, that number shot up to whatever it is, 12%, something like that, right? And then it leveled out. It's the fucking same for gay and trans people. It's the same. It's not like, oh, if you allow people to say they're gay and trans, by 2028, it's going to be 78% of the population that's gay and trans. No, it's going to be some minority of the population, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But they do the fear-mongering, like, everybody will be gay and trans if we let them. Come on now. Obviously, if you give people the option, they'll chop off their dick and balls. You know how ridiculous you sound? But this is unironically their argument. This is un- I asked Jordan Peterson this. He basically said, like, I don't know what the bottom is. That number can keep climbing. I don't know. So, it, anyway, it should be easy to win the propaganda battle when you point out these are fucking liars and idiots. And the things they're saying make absolutely no sense. So that's your job, is to correct the fucking record. 
because nobody else is going to do it, clearly. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.